Hi, I'm Ted Bearer. Thanks for coming to my channel, Communicating with Your Dog. This is the first of the videos, and I'm going over the importance of sharing a language with your dog. Uh, you just watched a video montage of my dog, Tundra. In the 80s, I took Tundra to Hollywood, and we won a, the coveted Patsy Award, which is given to one canine performance a year in the very first performance on a 90-minute special of The Love Boat that was written around Tundra. Let me back up and tell you I was just a guy from Denver given a puppy in 1979. I realized quickly that this little puppy and my future dog and I had communication problems. She wanted to listen to me. She was happy to listen to me but I couldn't get across to her what it was I wanted to do. It was fascinating to me as I had minored in college in psychology and studied Skinner and Pavlov and others. Dog training was just a hobby at this point, but I was in a job that traveled around the city and I wanted to bring Tundra with me. Tundra loved coming with me and she loved the training because I kept it positive. Everything that I had seen another dog do, I taught it to Tundra and I taught her more than that. For instance, on a limp, which very few dogs that I knew of did, I taught her to limp upstairs, downstairs, uphill, downhill, through a wilderness setting of fallen branches, through baking pans put on the floor without touching them, just for a demonstration. Uh, you'll see a little clip of her skills in the montage on that if you uh, look at the beginning of the video again. Uh, in her lifetime, Tundra knew over 200 word commands, and I could have taught her a lot more, but it just wasn't necessary to, to tell her what I wanted to do, so I didn't teach her more. She knew over 70 hand signals, which came in very handy for working in Hollywood on the sets. I actually spoke to Tundra with sentences of commands that she understood. From a dog training perspective, uh, one of the most complex and coolest things I ever taught her is also demonstrated in the montage. Uh, it's, it was a Mr. Coffee commercial, and they had it written in that she would take a scoop of coffee over to the coffee filter, drop the coffee in the scoop. So Tundra, you know, and then exit. And Tundra did it perfectly in just a couple takes. Uh, she, think about it, how complex this is. She had to drop the coffee while continuing to hold the scoop in her mouth. It gives you an idea of what a dog is capable of learning with a proper training. No one needs to train their dog to this level. You love your dog and that's why you're watching the video today. You want your dog to listen to you and follow some house rules. You want the option of being able to take your dog out in the world with you. The key to dog training is proper communication. It should be your chief goal in all your dog training. Your dog wants to please you. Teach your dog a language and bridge the communication gap. Realize that if your dog is not listening to you, it's your fault. Never lose patience with your dog. Just as a child needs to be taught a language, so does your dog. Dogs should be very proud of the old adage associated with them, man's best friend. It tells us a lot about the history and basic nature of the dog. The dog through history has been on our side, herding, guarding, hunting, sled pulling, rescuing, and more. But a simple and logical language just didn't exist. When I developed a communication system, it was long overdue. Your dog aims to please. You are the highlight of your dog's life. He studies you and depends on you for water and food. He studies how you hold your body. He knows when you're happy or angry, nervous or tired. And his lack of understanding is not entirely his fault. 
Relatively few dogs who are being scolded even know why. Dogs need discipline in a humane way that enables them to understand. People speak to their dogs in confusing and illogical ways. For example, look at the commands sit down and lie down. In these two different commands, the same word down exists. And they're using two words when only one word is necessary. To further the confusion, the person using the lie down command when the dog hasn't followed through will yell at their dog lay down, changing the lie to lay. So what do you want to do? What should you do? Use your dog's name first, followed by a one word command. Keep your commands consistent using the same words each time. Don't make small talk with your dog because the dog is looking at you in the kitchen. When you address your dog, communicate. Be consistent by using the same words, the same method of speaking, and the same logical word order, and avoid confusing your dog. In 1989, I put a simple 20-word language in a book called Communicating with Your Dog. It ended up winning a Dog Writers Association of America award. Recently, I revised this book and it's now available on Amazon. Not only does it outline a language and the training for each of the 20 words, but it has a lot of other valuable information in it as well. House training, how to pick a puppy and a dog, a more motivational approach to solving behavior problems. It even tells you where to go to, with the language next, what words that you might consider adding. Once you get done with this video, may I suggest you go down into the description underneath the video? You'll find links there to all my other videos. What I would next go to is go to the 15 rules that I'm covering that your family and you should follow to have an obedient dog. I think you'll enjoy them. As I'm wrapping things up here, I want to ask you to please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I have a lot of things to share with you. Going back quickly to Tundra's training, I want to mention that her knowledge increased at an accelerated rate. In other words, as her knowledge developed, it was easier for her to learn something new. Although that's very logical and similar to the progress of a young child, it's true with dogs as well. Any training you do with your dog will help your dog to learn more and quicker. It's such a wonderful feeling to have a dog that listens to you. Plus, your dog will be happy. Not only will your dog know when it's been bad or good, but it will understand your wishes and be able to please you more. Your dog's new knowledge will help you take your best friend out in the world with you. Be selfish and spoil yourself. Spend time training your dog. It's the only investment I know that returns a hundredfold.